Hi guys, I am Swam and you are watching Coder Commute. So today I am coming with another video tutorial and in which we will talk about the Spring Boot and we will, where we will create a Spring Boot project for the CRUD operation. We will perform some CRUD operation and we will be using MongoDB NoSQL database. So let's get started with this. I am going to use this Spring Toolsuit ID. You can use any ID if you want to use Eclipse, you can use that. If you want to use that IntelliJ, you can use that. But I am using this. So let's create a Spring Boot starter project. Spring starter project. And here I am going to choose the type Maven and Java version 17. And just give the name. I am just going to give com dot code community and get the package com dot code commune artifact will be so let's uh, write the project name first so I'm going to create like uh, uh, maybe for the product I want to use the product uh, uh, perform uh, perform CRUD operation on the product so I'm just going to write product CRUD demo so this is our Spring Boot application now next and here we will uh, choose our dependency which we are going to use so first I will use Spring Web dependencies. Spring Web. So uh, Spring Web dependency. Then we will use the MongoDB. So for that we are going to use Mongo data. This one. Then another one is. Uh, I'm going to use uh, Lompoc for generating the git run setter and then I'm going to one more dependency that is dev tools so if if we modify something then I don't need to restart again and again the server so for that I'm going to use this dev tools so now go next and just finish it so it will take few minutes to import all the dependencies download the dependency maven dependencies so let's go it is 26 percent so we will start once it's completed okay so finally our uh, maven dependency is downloaded and now we are ready to go with the project so this is our uh, the project we have, which we have created and now we can explore this like what we have got in our uh, that uh, while plate code that is as you can see we are having one default package con dot code commune where we are getting one this uh, class product crud demo application which is having one main method and from this is the this is our the entry point of our spring boot application so now go ahead and check for the resource folder where we are we can see this application dot properties so in this we are going to configure our database so i am going to write that properties here so this is our three lines these three lines are for our database connectivity and uh, as we are going to use the mongodb so i'm uh, writing this uh, spring data dot mongodb dot database name so this is this is the database name and this is the mongodb dot host is the local host on which our uh, mongodb is running and then the mongodb dot port that is the port number on which our mongodb is running so let's say this and now go to the mongodb as i have already installed the mongodb make sure that you have already installed this mongodb and here i'll what i will do i'll just create one database name order commune and, and i'll create one collection because i'm going to use this uh, uh, product i'm going to use product uh, class for a uh, product is so I'm going to create this collection as a product okay and now go back and uh, what we can do we will create one product class so first we have to create one package that is the uh, 
entity package so just go and let's create dot entity and in this we are going to create one class that is the product and uh, as we are working with the NoSQL database and MongoDB so this is this is not the uh, based on the tables this is the based on the collections so here we are here we don't have that add rate entity annotation as we if you if you if you have worked with that uh, SQL databases like uh, Postgres and MySQL then uh, there you have you may have used that uh, add rate entity but here for that I will use add rate document and as you can see that the document is coming from the spring framework spring framework data mongodb so <coughs> now what i will do we will create we will again add one more annotation that is at the data that which will be used for gator and setter and now go and create the fields so i'll use private long uh prod id that is the product ID and this will be the, our primary key so for that I am going to use add rate ID annotations okay and now uh, what I will do I will create private string broad name one broad name field will be there and then the private string then we will have some uh, price so that will be price and then uh, not the string it will be long or double maybe so i'm going to use the double uh, double price and uh, if you want something then we can add like uh, manufacture date or something or maybe the description so product product description maybe so private string uh, description desk okay. Uh, okay that's it that's that's all our field and now just explore like what this add three data is giving us as we have not created we have just written these four line four fields and now just explore this product and as you can see what it's giving it's giving all your the getter and setter for this uh, all the field class field and as you can see uh, it is also giving the equals method has code method and to string method and it is giving the uh, default constructor and uh, that will be uh, that is the default constructor and if you want to add one parameterized constructor so that just write all argument constructor so if you if you are going to use this all our constructor annotation it will automatically remove that default constructor so what i will do i'll again add one more annotation that will be no arc constructor okay so now now we are having all the field all the necessary things like no argument constructor is also there all argument constructor is also there all the gator and setter equals and has code and to a string method so this class is completed now we will go ahead and create one repository okay so just create one repository uh, package so dot repo and here we will create one product repository as this is the interface this is not the class so i am going to write prod repository and what it will do it will it will extend the mongo repository extend mongo repository and here we have to provide that product and id so we need to provide that product and then we need to provide that id also so id type will be like uh, uh, maybe your long okay so 
so id type is long so that's why we have provided the long here okay so uh, repository part is also com completed now let's close this unnecessary thing okay now we are going to create one service class and then controller so what i will do i'll just one create one service class one service package first then we will create one service class so uh, that is the service layer and in this i am going to create one service class that will be the interface not the class so that is the service interface i am going to write i product service as this is the interface so i product service and okay and now here we have to declare the methods we, which we want to implement our uh, which we want to implement our uh, write, write the business logic for that so uh, i am going to uh, just perform the crud operation so we can write public okay uh, so, so this is this is the uh, this is the okay so uh, as this is the uh, product service interface so we are going to create the uh, abstract method so just uh, like uh, a string the return type would be the string and the save product so saving the product i will create this method and uh, it will take the product parameter and then uh, product parameter and then and then uh, we need to create for the read operation so what i will do i'll create one list of product so that will be the order duty package and then list of product that is and then it will return get all product okay and there is no any argument and then another uh, abstract method would be that uh, getting the product by id so this will be the return type of product and then get product by id product by id and it will take the parameter as the product id so that will be long prod id okay and then the next one will be the deleting the deleting the product so what i will do i will uh, delete the product using the product id so <coughs> yeah uh, we will write as a string and then uh, delete product by id cool and uh, so this is our and here we will pass the prod id okay so th this method is completed now what we will do we will create one more uh, that, uh, uh, implementation for this uh, our interface product service interface so what i will do i will just create one class which can implement this uh, interface not the interface Be product service impl and uh, here we will implement that service interface so uh, i product service and as it is implementing so it has to override all the methods so just add unimplemented method <coughs> so this is it has already generated that unimplemented abstract method so we have overrided that abstract method to this product service impl class and now we will write our all the business logic here so uh, for that what we will do first uh, we have some product so what we can do we can create that uh, uh, we, we will take the product and so uh, first we have to uh, auto wire the repository so what i can do we will uh, auto wire that repository so product repo 
and product repo um, there is some issue see what is the happening product repository okay so the we have created this prod repo okay let me just refract refactor it uh, there is some spelling mistake just refactor the name that will be the prod prod instead of prod we will write product okay so this is modified and now here we, we will get that product repository and then we will create one prod repo reference and this will be the auto wired so just use that auto auto wired annotation so okay so we have auto wired this now we, what we will do we will just call this prod repo dot repo dot and there is as this is the repository so there will be lots of methods so as you can see this is providing can't delete delete all delete by ids equals exist exist by id find all so this kind of method so there is also one method that is a save method so here we will just write save product repo dot save and we will pass that product object okay so that's it that's 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 the uh, you can see this uh, this is done like for the saving the product and now we will just return this okay so what we can do uh, we can return or what we can do we can create one object product object uh, or we can just write one message that there is something issue with my keyboard okay so product id and then here we will just try prod product dot get prod id and then we can just write product id num product id 1 is saved successfully okay so that's it that's the uh, uh, saving the product is completed and uh, first we can we can we can uh, create this and then we can go for like getting all the products so what we can do here we can just call that prod prod repo dot find all okay so this is returning out the list of product and then uh, as we we, are, we want to use that uh, find by id so there is one method that found dot find by id so what we can do prod repo dot find by id find so find by id and here we have we have to pass that prod uh, id as you can see this is showing the error why because we have given the product as return type and here we are returning that this this will return the op optional type as you can see this is the optional type so what we can do we can just write dot get okay so now it is returning our the product type okay 
so our our get all product is completed get uh, product by id is completed saving the product is completed now what we do we will uh, uh, delete by id so what we can do first we have to check whether this id is existing or not so if prod repo prod repo dot exist by id okay exist by id product id so if this is this exists so what i can do uh, i will prod repo dot delete by id if there is something kind of delete delete by id there must be some okay so this is the delete by id and and what i will do i'll just create one uh, one boolean value just flag for checking flag or maybe so you delete equal to uh, false so by default it's false so if deleted then it will be uh, true delete equal to true okay and uh, what i can do i will just check <coughs> uh, return So I'll just uh, uh, return the value. So what I will do, I'll just return one string message with the value, uh, boolean value. So product with ID, and here we will pass that. We'll call the product ID, and then we will product ID with this. Deleted, deleted a status. So if if this uh, deleted, then it will show true. So and if it's not deleted, then it will it will show false. So uh, we will just write that delete. We will call that delete here. Okay. So this is completed. So our business logic is completed. Now what what we have to we have to write that uh, our REST APIs. So first go and REST, let's, let's con uh, create one controller. So just create one dot controller. And uh, here we will create, uh, create one controller class. Product controller. There is lots of spelling mistake, I think. Okay, so this is our product controller, and here we can uh, uh, write that is controller. Something is list controller uh, annotation, and one will be that request mapping. And here we will provide that uh, base URL. So base URL is product. So this is this is this. That's that's all. Now what we can do? We can uh, auto add our uh, product service interface. So I'll call that product service. And then uh, we will auto add this. And this is the auto wired and now just put the semicolon. And now we will create our the API. So for first API will be for saving the product. So that is public. I am going to use response entity. Response entity and here we pass that product and uh, I, I, I think our uh, implementation method is returning the a string so 
okay let's uh, uh, we have to pass here string okay and then we can uh, try to create product and here we will pass that uh, that first first just write this and now we will pass here first create this uh, post mapping annotation post mapping annotation and here we will give the api so as api will be uh, that is the saving the product so just i'm giving the save product and then uh, here we will pass that request party as product request body as this is the request body and here we will pass that product okay so this is this is our uh, api for uh, uh, creating the product and here we will pass uh, here we will write the uh, logic so what i will do product service i product just modify this instead of i product i'll just write product service okay, that that will be more convenient so product service dot save product and this is just call and pass that product and what we will do return response entity and uh, here we will pass this this part and it will be passed here and then comma http status Uh, status dot okay okay so this part is somehow why this error is coming there is some okay so there is some issue with this return type i think i missed this new keyword Okay, and I think the semicolon also. Just put it. Okay, so this is this part is completed, and now what we will do? We will create for our uh, that uh, our return, uh, get all product. So what I will do? I'll just create public uh, response entity, and that will be the list of product. So list of product so and this will be read all product and there will be no any parameter here we what we will do we will just return new response entity and we will just call that product service dot get all product and then http status dot ok that's it so this part is also completed let me close this part so we can see clearly Okay, so this part is this part is also completed, and uh, now we have another. Ah, okay, okay, uh, we have to annotate this as uh, get mapping, get mapping, and uh, pass that API name. So URL as uh, get all. Okay. So this is the gate all and then okay, so what we can do we can just run these two API for now so let's just uh, 
go to this main class and just run this application a spring boot app so that we can see whether our app is working perfectly or not then we can for further co complete our project so okay there is some issue with this uh, okay there is some issue of that java version okay let me fix this okay so there was some issue with our java version so what i did i just uh, went to that uh, build path and then configure build path and then here it was using that java 15 version so what i did i just edited and choose our uh, that uh, jdk 18 version so that's all and then again i'll what i will do i'll just restart the application okay okay so somewhere it's failing it's failing because uh, as you can see there is a required win of type product service okay so we have missed one annotation in our service interface so here uh, we need to uh, write that service layer so at the rate service annotation uh, because if, if you're not going to use that at the rate service annotation that will be uh, in uh, uh, like it, it is impossible to create bin for that and uh, so for that we need to write that a spring uh, I mean service annotation so we need to write the service annotation in that uh, uh, service layer so what I will do I'll just go and I'll just write the add rate service Trade service okay and now what I will do I'll just save and rerun this application I think now it's working okay so now application is running on the port number 8080 so what I'll do I'll just create the I'll just open my postman to check if I am having I am having that port postman so I'll just open this and then I'll just test our API and I will save one product data and then we will get that product data okay so our postman is opening it's taking few minutes okay so our postman is open now what we will do we will create one request and this request will be the post request and here we will put that url that is http uh, colon double slash localhost colon 8080 is our port and then slash product slash save uh, this is and now we need to pass that body as we have to pass that product object using that request body and uh, here we have to uh, put that check uh, raw then go for json data and now here we will create our data and pass that things so just check what way what what field we are having so i'll just copy this field i'll just copy and go there just for reference i'm just pasting it below okay and now just copy it okay so that's first will be our product id so i'm just passing as uh, 101 then we were having that uh, product name so for that also we'll just copy this paste it here colon and the product name uh, as a uh, 
let let's suppose that HP HP laptops so HP Elite Book Elite Book laptop and the next one is our price so just try it price as let's suppose the price is our uh, uh, 55,000 and then the next would be our desk the product descriptions so that let's write something like uh, the this is having 8 GB RAM This is having okay. There is some kind of okay. 8 GB RAM. So th that that's all. And now just remove this part. And now just save this request. And let's see what happened if this request go okay. As you can see the product ID 101 is saved successfully. Now go to our database MongoDB database and let's check if our product is saved directly or not. So just explore this our code commune then product collection and here we need to check for our okay there is some kind of issue maybe okay so I think that okay so that is created using the small case because by default it's it's take as a lower case so that that's why it's coming as the product uh, lower case product collection and this is this is our the data which we have inserted as you can see the id is 101 product name that is the sp light book and the price and the description itself so th this this is this is the product which we have inserted so our save api is working perfectly now we will save one more one more data and then we will for another api so we will just save one more data and now let's suppose for this we will just like macbook here MacBook Air laptop, and let's suppose the price is uh, seventy thousand. Seventy thousand, and then uh, maybe the SSD one twenty eight GB, or maybe two fifty six GB. So two fifty six GB SSD. Okay, so th th this is this is our second product. Now I am saving it. Okay, so this is also saving correctly, and we are getting the status as two zero zero. And now go back to that database and just refresh our database. Just refresh it, and now the, here is our second data which we have inserted. So now it's time to check for another API which we have created for getting all the product so let's go and let's check what api we have created okay so th this is the get all api so now go back and uh, let's create another new request let's create another new request and just copy this url till product and we will just modify the url and give get all and let's see what happen if we pass this okay so we are getting all the uh, our data product product details whatever the product details in our database we are getting that all the product details and uh, uh, this is coming in the json format 
So our two API is working perfectly, the post APIs and the gate API. Now let's check for another API that is the gate by ID, find by ID. So we will just create this duplicate and just here we will check for, okay. So for that, as we have created only two API, uh, we will go back and just copy and paste. And here we will just uh, modify the name that find by read product by id and here we will pass that at the rate path variable just a moment let me change here okay yes at the rate path variable and that will be our long prod id okay and here 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 just modify this gate id or just write uh, slash gate slash gate slash parenthesis prod id so that's all uh, that's all for this and here we have to call that method product by id get product by id get product by id and why it's showing this because it's returning that product and we are returning here the list of products so just remove this list part and from above also and then we have to remove this okay and now what's the issue okay here we have to pass that product id okay so this part is also completed now go back and let's just write gate slash product id 101 and now check what result we get as you can see, we have passed the product 101 and we are getting the details, details of the product details of ID 101. If we pass here 102, then it will return the pro, uh, product details of 102. If we pass the wrong ID, what will happen? Okay, so this is giving internal server error and it is also saying that java.util.no dot dot no such element exception no value present because by default it's using this no such element exception it is uh, using by java and so for that if you want to handle this kind of exception you need to implement that exception part also but for now just i'm focusing on that this uh, crud, crud operation in the next video we will talk about that uh, uh, exception also but for now just go ahead and check for that uh, uh, delete by id so first let's run this okay so 102 is getting the product details of 102 now go for and create one more api that is for deleting the id uh, de delete by id so just write okay uh, first create this method public response entity and that will be a string kind of thing as our method is a string and this will be delete by id and uh, here we need to pass again the path variable and that will be long prod id okay and next um, then next we have to add this annotation that is delete mapping and here we need to pass that api we need to create delete and then just parenthesis we will give that broad id 
okay and now here just call that method product service okay so this is the responsibility so return new response entity So there is new response entity and then we will just call that method product service dot delete by product by id and then give that status comma http status http status dot ok i hope that is completed ok and now go back and let's just save it and go to our that api part and here again create the duplicate tab and here we will call that delete and just pass just modify our api that is delete and we will just give 102 so first first check what 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 all the details we are having so we are having 101 and 102 product so now go to this and just run this okay so product with id 102 deleted a status true so a status true now go to this and check how many products are there so as you can see there is up now there was previously two product 101 and 102 now there is 101 product what if we give the wrong details like 104 this is not present so what will happen so as you can see it is saying product with id 104 deleted status false means that product is not present there so this is not deleted okay so so that's 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 all about this crud operation and uh, uh, we have left with one more operation that is the update for uh, and uh, we have also uh, left with that exception part that will be that we can see in our next tutorial so till then uh, bye bye and if you have any query if any uh, dot you are having just write in the comment section and subscribe to the channel and now we'll see you in the next video thank you